in his heart. So you saw, really, uh, Chocotito is almost like the hometown favorite here in, in LA. He had, he had a tremendous turnout, completely sold out the Stub Hub Center. Uh, but you can't take anything away from uh, Rungvisa. I think Chocotito maybe start trading with him a little bit too early. Uh, his game plan probably should have been to go a little bit more in the later rounds like he did in New York in the Madison Square Garden when uh, he was dominating the second half of the fight. But when he had the first knockdown, instead of, there was still a lot of time in the ring, and instead of, you know, moving and clinching, he uh, kept fighting and, and he just got caught a second time and the second time just uh, was, uh, Boy, that was uh, that was a scary uh, that was a scary moment for a guy like Chapatito. You don't see him on the canvas very often, and uh, you got to give Rumbasai a lot of credit. You got to give Inoue a lot of credit. I mean, Inoue, the monster, lived up to his nickname. I mean, that was the co-feature, and uh, boy, you got to put Inoue the way he uh, took apart a guy like uh, Antonio Nieves. My my ribs started hurting with those body shots. I was wincing, and. Uh, uh, boy, in a way, uh, in a way, has got to be in the top ten pound for pound. And then uh, Strada, the way he, the way he fought against uh, Quadras, you got to give those guys credit. It was a very close fight, a true Mexican style fight. I mean, there was non-stop action. You know, the small guy has always put on the the, the biggest show, and uh, Estrada has a big future uh, in front of him at 115 pounds. Do you see Trouble Lotito moving back down? Maybe these guys are a little too big for him. You know, that's really up to uh, Mr. Honda and uh, Psychic Promotions and his manager, uh, Carlos Blandon. Um, he was dominating 112 pounds. It's, uh, you know, when you move up three pounds, it doesn't seem like a lot. But, uh, you know, he had a very tough fight against uh, Quadras at 115. And then, uh, you know, he had the two tough fights against Rungvisai. It might be one of those things that uh, just Rungvisai has a bad style for him. He's a southpaw, he's a big puncher. Physically, I mean, he's a big guy for 115 pounds. So, at the weigh-in yesterday, I thought uh, Roman was about the same size, but in, in the ring today, you could see Rungvisai was much bigger. So, uh, it was uh, it was a great fight. So great about event. about super fries, uh, Tom, you think is the one of the most very important event in your uh, career? I think it's one of the best fights, we, uh, best events we've ever been involved with. It's completely sold out, stub up center. Uh, this is this had so much world-class talent on it. I think we can do a Superfly two and a Superfly three. I mean, the the great thing about uh, the guys in this division and the promoters uh, is that, that they'll fight each other. You know, they want to show who's the best. And you know, when you had Inoue in a dominant performance, you had Lumbasai dominant performance, and uh, Estrada. Uh, the way he boxed, uh, what can you say? I mean, uh, there's so much talent, and it's such a deep division that uh, we can put on some great matchups.